I must say this filming's an odd sort of thing sometimes. I mean, for weeks now we've been um, in the rain and the cold on northern Spain and trying to find a sunny day and suddenly I find ourselves here in the north of Catalonia. I can remember coming through this part of Spain in the 60s and it was all like this really, as, as in my memory of course. But I mean, um, lovely day, nice people, lovely food, real food. I'm going to see how they make salsa romesco for the first time. Really looking forward to that. Happy as Larry. All the magic of this famous sauce takes place in a mortar. Crushed garlic, almonds and fried bread cooked until crisp in olive oil. And then fried livers, monkfish livers, which is really important when you use the salsa in a fish stew. That's all smashed up in the mortar. Now they tear off fresh parsley and add the fried bread. I think this is what cooking and creating flavour should be about. When I arrived, I saw tomatoes on the barbecue. They're skinned and pulped most satisfyingly, and then the flesh from the roasted romesco peppers. That, in all its golden Catalan glory, is a salsa romesco. Rafa, my host, starts to make another iconic Catalan dish called a fidua. Vermicelli-like pasta is toasted in a pan with oil and cloves of garlic till they become golden. Well, Catalonia has strong links to Italy. In another corner of this fisherman's house, a mate of Rafa's barbecues the new season's green asparagus. And now for the all-important fish stew. Chunks of red gurnard and monkfish dusted in flour are fried in olive oil. What's really nice about this is that they're all friends, they're all restaurateurs. Well, I think one's got a disco, but maybe he's, he or she cooks a disco. One of them cooks at El Bulli, which is just around the corner. But what I really like about it is they're all good cooks, so I'm picking up tons of stuff, and I know that everything they cook will be the best possible dish, so I'm very excited. 